Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali. In this video tutorial, we will learn about fuzzy lookup, how to perform fuzzy lookup in Microsoft Excel, why is it important and what is the use case scenario where the user is required to do fuzzy lookup. And I will tell you the two different methods, first from the installing an add-in, which is available free. And the other method is to use Power Query inside Excel. And the advantage you will get that if you find similar situation in Power BI, you can use that Power Query technique in Power BI as well. So let's get start with a very simple example, then we will come to this use case as well. So let's say if I have a data which consists of two columns, names and sales, and I want to look up sales for the person Raheem. So if we look at manually, Raheem is available in the data where the sale is 97,576. And if you are a user of a level of intermediate user or advanced user of Excel, you know that for fetching some information out of a data, you can use a reference function like VLOOKUP, INDEX MATCH or XLOOKUP if you have the latest version. So I will be applying three of them here, but we will not get the value and I will tell you the reason. Okay. So let's get start with VLOOKUP. So equals to VLOOKUP, lookup value is Raheem, the name of salesperson. We are finding in a data, which is the table array. Then the column index number, uh, we need the output of a sales amount, which is technically the second column. And now in the range lookup, we have two kind of range lookups uh, in the VLOOKUP. For example, number one is uh, true for the approximate match and false for the exact match, as you can see here, right? So now what happens, a uh, true is used when your lookup value is a number and you are finding for the approximate match. But in this case, our lookup value is a text and we should go with the false, which requires an exact match. So if I write false here, or it, I can also write zero here, which exactly means the false. So it written an error, which means that Raheem is not available. Now, when I see Raheem is available, but the spelling does not match. So this means that in the reference function, either you use VLOOKUP, INDEX MATCH or XLOOKUP, the approximate match for the textual value is not available. Okay. So for the exact match text values, we can use the false as this parameter, but not for the approximate match uh, of the textual values, right? So this is the link. You can just type, go to Google and type uh, keywords like fuzzy lookup and you will find this Microsoft official link. And you can download this add-in and then install it. Uh, the minimum system requirements are given here. The installation instructions are given here. Okay, so the size of this file is just 1.4 MB and you can download that as well. So once you download and uh, install, you will be finding that a separate tab available inside Excel. So you can see here fuzzy lookup and there is just a one button here. So I will tell you how to use fuzzy lookup as an add-in but eventually if you uh, don't install fuzzy lookup and you want to do similar kind of a thing so you can use power query as well for fuzzy lookup. Okay so let's get start. Now I have a practical use case available. So let's get start. We have a data here, which is being maintained by, let's say, State Bank of Pakistan. So we have around like uh, 25 different uh, account numbers and their descriptions and their balances, right? And we have another data, which is maintained by uh, ABC Bank, let's say, okay, or any other bank. Now what happens is, if you can see the difference, let's say, let me give you an example. So the State Bank of Pakistan is maintaining like a name Excel Basement Private Limited, which is a short form for private and limited. Whereas the bank is maintaining a spelling like Excel Basement Private Limited with a full form. Okay. So that is technically a difference. When we use uh, lookup to get the balances in a different data, we will find an error uh, because uh, this as a pronunciation, it's exactly the same, but I mean, uh, as a exact match, it's not the same case, right? Eventually, if you see uh, some other names here, likewise, uh, 
So if we look at uh, this another name interlink engineering and if we see in other database it's interlink engineering is available but it's like 17 slash a sector a1 lahore and then uh, postal code right another example is like uh, salman traders but if we see here salman traders uh, ubl manawala road right a, a, another example is like ali glass industries private limited but in the other data it's it's still there but i mean some additional information is there all right so now what will happen when we apply either v lookup or x lookup or index match here to fetch uh, the balances amounts from state bank data to our uh, banking database which is maintained internally we will get the errors okay let me show you so let's say equals to i will use x lookup here this is the lookup value then this is the lookup array this is balances column is the return array and when i close the bracket see just we are getting one uh, result for ceo sepco revenue collection because on both the sides the spelling is exactly matched okay so if you can see here ceo sepco revenue collection is exactly same in the other database that's why we got the amount otherwise for all the other names we are getting an error because it, that does not exactly match so now we have to manually find and then figure out and imagine you have you just not have 25 records i mean you can have hundreds and thousands of records and you can spend an entire day to do uh, i mean look up the values and get the results uh, right so that's the issue here i mean even you can see here excel basement private limited example pronunciation is same and that is uh, available in both the data sets but it returns an error because it's not exactly same right so uh, how to do that i mean this is one of the very uh, big pain point for the users who get this kind of a data right so no problem we have the fuzzy lookup as well as we will try to solve in power query so let's get start the first thing um, make sure that you convert these two different arrays into a table format so what i have did is i have selected these three columns and i have defined them uh, or converted as a table and i have defined the name here sbp underscore db okay you can write any name you want to just give you an example and another data set which just have one column i have also converted that as in a table format that is name is bank underscore db now this is the fundamental step because you need to convert them into a table format in order to use fuzzy lookup now i will go to fuzzy lookup and click on this button that will open up a menu on the right side so on the very left the left table is sbp underscore db the right table is bank underscore db you need to select the common column which is account description available in both the different uh, tables okay you have created that relationship and then you need to define which columns output you want okay so we want account number description you can just click on check mark okay number of matches one and make sure that you uh, lower the similarity threshold to 0 0.01 okay and then you have to click on go button so once you are done all these things let's click on go and just close this window now let's see the results so now as you can see that we we got a new data here and you can see the salman traders has been matched in front of salman traders ubl manawala road right similarly uh, if i go to the last example excel basement private limited and we got the balance right here 98202 right so a lot of accounts i mean you can say more than uh, i guess 80 85 percent of the names has been matched approximately in front of each other and we got the balances as well some of the accounts uh, have not been matched which you can uh, i mean do uh, as uh, manual or you can use transformation table as a separate thing in power query which we will uh, discuss that all right so now instead of getting all the columns through fuzzy lookup if our requirement is very very specific like we want to get the, this particular column 
and we want to look up the balances column only from the SBP database so that's also possible very easy uh, what we're gonna do is we will go to fuzzy lookup okay click on that and you need to check if all the things are have the right default setting available now in the output columns we will say that uh, we want bank underscore DB account description column and balances column from SBP DB okay and uncheck these two similarity threshold will be 0 0.01 and then click on go button uh, column of account description so you got now balances column and that account description column this table is so this data is already in a table format so what I will do I will go to the data tab okay and I will click on from table or range that will open power query editor window and we will click on close and load and we will click on close and load to okay make sure that you click on close and load to so now that opens a small window and we will select only create connection here okay and click on ok so this data has been created as a connection now we will go to the another table again similar steps from table or range then let's close and load to and we will again select only create connection so now the connection has been created for these two tables now we will merge them so i will go to get data combine queries and i will select merge so first i will select state bank db then i will select bank db i will select the common column so make sure you click on the common column which is account description in this case okay uh, the join kind will be left by default which is the left outer now you have this fuzzy matching uh, option available here so check mark use fuzzy matching to perform the merge now when you click you can see the selection matches one of 25 rows from the first table and we want more matches to do by the fuzzy matching so we will open this option and similarity threshold uh, let's say uh, by default if you don't write anything here by default it's 0 0.80 okay so a description is being written here so what we will do we will apply 0 0.7 let's say so it says 2 of 25 0 0.3 let's say yeah that's relevantly close and then you have a choice ignore case either capital or small letters and how many number of maximum matches you want to do one for each case so we'll write one here and the names which will not be merged with even with the fuzzy matching we can add a separate table as a transformation table which is optional here for now let's keep it as it is now click on ok that will open a power query editor and let's open this drop down menu we want to fetch account description from the bank database click ok and you can see uh, these names have been matched with each other right very simple now we will close and load so a new separate sheet will be added in this workbook where we ha we will get all the results here right so see how easy it is to I mean match uh, the approximate match textual value and to get the other required um, columns the best thing of power query and fuzzy lookup is that if you use this and the data gets append likewise so when you click on uh, refresh on your merge data it will automatically add new results okay? so i hope you like this video thank you